Chris Sawyers for giving me an early look of Open Eclair 1.2.2. Here I'm going to show you where it says mod version. It says Open Eclair, Diet Eclair. That's the code name he gave it. So again, thanks Chris. Who's that good looking boy behind the camera? Who's that handsome boy? That's me! That's me! Hey guys, Frank right here. Today I'm going to review Open Eclair, the newest build with the Nexus launcher. If you've seen my other video, then you know what I'm talking about. Okay, so as soon as we start off, here we get like any other ROM, home screens. Now, there's something special about this ROM. It has a Nexus 1 launcher. So you can see you have that 3D grid type thing. And um, if you click here, you have this card type thing, similar to WebOS on the multitask. And instead of having to swipe through each screen, you can just click on any of them, and it'll jump straight to it. See, right there it shows a marker of how many more screens there are on the other side. There, there's four, so it tells you there's four more screens. See? And it changes as you swipe. This is one of the faster um, Eclair ROMs. I have recently um, broke my Class 6 SD card, so I'm using a Class 2. And obviously you can see it runs very smooth and very quick. Most other ROMs would be lagging like and when you have something that's so processor intensive, so processor heavy, that's really impressive. No other ROMs can really say that they're that fast. Okay, now there is nothing special about the dialer stock. Um, can't show you exactly everything. But the dialer is stock, there's no theming at all. Stock Android 2.0. X. Okay. Um, the contacts. Stock as well. Nothing special here. Let's see. It doesn't show the numbers. So it's okay to show you. But there's nothing special on the contacts. Okay, now onto the camera. Well, the camera is again stock Android 2.x. See, camera stock Android. Okay, I just showed you the camera, and I'll show you the gallery. Um, this is the gallery we've been getting in the Eclair ROMs. In 1.2.1, he had the 3D gallery, but it had a lot of problems. It didn't work at all. Well, it didn't work well. So this is the gallery. It's what we've been getting in all the Claire ROMs, really. Pictures come out a little strange. Okay. Um sorry about that. That must have probably been my own camera. Um if I mentioned this before, I have this ROM does include multi-touch. The it has the Nexus's OTA update, which allows multi-touch on the browser and um, on native applications. So that's something cool. The note. Well, that's the gallery. So in 1.2.2, um, some of the changes are live wallpaper. Um, the Nexus live wallpaper has a changeable color scheme. And some people have been having force closes with the camera, but now that's been fixed. See, um, there's been some changes to the launcher, so now live wallpapers respond to your touch. As you can see, there's custom color scheme, just like he said. Good live wallpapers. I'll show you all the live wallpapers that it comes with. Now, Conway, Digital Rain, and Duck Hunt are all ones that I downloaded. And Jellyfish Tank. But it has everything else. Um, everything works. Everything. 
Um, but here now in the Nexus, you can change the background, normal or dark, and change the color scheme. Normal, sexy, and cause. So here if we just give it a second to load the wallpaper again. Well, there you go. That is the dark with the cause color scheme. So you can see this is new feature. And those are the changes in Open Eclair 1.2.1 to 1.2.2. Okay, now onto the browser. This is a very quick browser. Obviously, it's not as quick as the Nexus One's browser, but it is very quick. Um, this has the Android keyboard with the speech to text. But here, I'll demonstrate what it'd be like if you're going to a website that you never visited before. This hasn't been preloaded, so let's go to Droid Dog. Just give it a second to load. Now, your loading speeds will vary on your connection. Right now, I'm connected to Wi Fi, and I'm on a Class 2 SD card since my Class 6 broke. Um, Droid Dog just has their new mobile website but loads fairly quickly navigation is very smooth you don't get any hiccups or some checkered board pattern that some Windows mobile devices have there's multi-touch but not on this page since it is a mobile version here we go almost done loading up there, you can start navigating. If we just give it a second to completely load the page, you can already start navigating. You can zoom via the zoom buttons with the double tap or multi touch. There is my video that was featured on Droid Dog. If you can, go check that out. But, okay, that's the browser. Well, that's it for the native applications. I don't think I missed anything. Actually, messaging. Same stock Android 2.0. Nothing new. First. There we go. Oh, well, yeah. That's it for the stock applications I guess. The market works fine. I know someone who reported 